Hello guys. This is postmodern Czechoslovakian War Factory. I was thinking originally for my next video maybe explaining sort of why I've been gone for a while. It's been over a month. Thanks to the over 760 people subscribed, I believe gained 20 subscribers. Because the Chierno Day thing and slash or the cute Chierno profile picture. I might change that soon. To different girl and anime girl. Or I might change it to historical figure that I'm really big fan of. But I have liked the change. But I'll leave that stuff there. And just want to show you I am in downtown Phoenix. And right over there is the state capitol building. The state of the great United States of America. I was here for a stop the steal Trump rally. And it's Trump wasn't actually here. It was crazy the amount of energy. Anyways, leave that at that. But I just want to show this is commemorating the USS Arizona. U.S. warship that sank during Pearl Harbor. Talking about right here. In the memory of the gallant men who gave their lives on December 7th, 1941 on the battleship USS Arizona during the attack on Pearl Harbor. Dedicated December 7th, 1976. So, so you can pause that and just read more of that. I gotta get going soon. I got work in less than an hour and a half, and I gotta get back home and change into that, go to work. I got some time though, and I just wanna go over. So, I might need to double check the signs, what I was saying, but I think it said one of those was from the USS Arizona. Somehow picked up one of those USS Missouri. And if they're not actually from the ships, they're uh, replicas. This memorial, where we go over more places, it reminds me of the Hiroshima one and also Nagasaki one with their things. So World War II was, results was hard for people in Japan, hard for us as now. Been over 70 years. <laughs> we are really good friends now, US and Japan, but we had men fight bravely on US side. Anyways, I want this. In a similar way, honored victims of the atomic bomb. I want to go and honor service members. U.S. And there's other things honoring U.S. service members. I actually don't know what's over here, but let's go and check what this is. We'll go back to the USS Arizona a bit. And there's other memorials here too. I saw things for like World War One. Saw things for World War One, I, I believe Jewish veterans. And there was something for the Navajo code people during World War Two. A lot of cool stuff they have here. State Capitol. Just going through different United States Senators, I think. Probably from, well, of course, the state of Arizona. So, Governor. Uh, it might be interesting for you, but I don't feel like taking my time. That looked cool. That guy did a lot. State. All right, boy, I want to go. Let's go back and just I'll talk less from this point. We're just going show off these things just to show some of these things they have in on you as service members because I always feel that's important. Put a video on pause. Some people can help find something. So I just help them out a bit. But yes, it's the 
said I can't recall which one is for the USS Arizona, which one for the USS Missouri, but I believe. Absolute massive. Oh, wait, so there's a sign over there. I think that said USS Missouri, because over there's a sign that says USS Arizona. Oh, so it says USS Missouri over here, too. Didn't notice this, okay. Okay, this is one was commissioned later. I guess the USS Missouri. I'll have to look at that. I thought this one was also Pearl Harbor, but it looks like, oh, Pearl Harbor is final home. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know how they'd be able to say. Oh, the 14 inch gun barrel from the USS Arizona was not on the ship at the time of sinking. And I've been relined and placed on USS Nevada and participating in D Day in Operation Dragoon. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so these are actual. Okay, so this one be the USS Arizona. And. Another one from the USS Missouri. And this one's a 14 inch gun barrel. I guess at the end, because it's obviously way longer than 14 inches, but they're huge. 16 inch on the Missouri. I'll just let you pause. I want to check those out. Scan pause. Check it out. It's an absolute unit of a gun. Like it's just massive. I am I keep walking away, but it seems like it keeps getting bigger on my screen. I think that this gun originally belonged on the ship before it sank. Over a thousand service members died during Pearl Harbor. Incredible. Never forget. Here's a 16 inch uh, USS Missouri. Absolutely based. I believe this has something to do with the Korean War. It's freedom not free. You have the Asiatic architecture. Alright, another person asked me, I just don't want to like corrupt them, but uh, another gentleman keep asking me, it's like the Trump thing's supposed to be done. Well, they just go over to the Capitol over there, but now they're going over to the county assessors. It counted correctly, so. which I support. It's like gotta have confidence. It's fair. If Joe Biden wins fair and square, and it's like okay, we're wrong. I'm just, I'm not convinced. Personally. Let's leave it at that. So uh, this is quite beautiful, quite nice. 1912 Cuba State. Some nice, cute little flowers around. Nice. Wait a little bit until they sort of leave. Try to not get as many people as possible in here. But yeah, have that little archway. So I think this is supposed to commemorate Korean War. Um, over there, there's a with all those flags, American flags, Arizona flags, and the bell. That's a firefighters commemoration place. That's pretty. I guess I'll go over there really quickly, see if it's close, that look kind of cool. Then I'll just go through some of the other stuff. So we just have different things for our different uh, military people and all that. So it says right over here, say Arizona Fallen Firefighter Memorial. So 
I'll have to make certain that I put in timestamps for this bad boy because it's already a long video. He was flagged, and then you got all the different got Arizona POW Marines. Yeah, firefighters, like military people, they are people who put their lives on the line. People's freedom and security. It's an honorable, virtuous job to hold. And these people deserve their respect. Our respects. Got all these flags. U.S. Well, these are Arizona flags right over here. Those are some cool statues. The firemen. Feel like they need to add more flags there. So, mainly men. There might have been a few women on there. I didn't really read through all the signs that went by. It looks nice. Got the symbol of fire. Fire symbol over here. Uh, let's go walk back a little bit. Let's just see. Fire symbol. But just absolutely great. So yeah. Not saying what that is. I don't know, but let's go over there a bit too. There are all sorts of great stuff here, just memorials for people who fight and care for people's safety and freedom, for the U.S. and the communities. And it's definitely important to honor people who fight for your nation and who help out doing virtuous things, whether it be firefighters or policemen or soldiers. There's definitely um, bad apples, but the majority of the people are good people. Looks like this is for September 11th Memorial. Hmm, took case September 11th. A couple of governors. Was the other lady a lieutenant governor? I don't know. Moving memoirs. Memory of September 11, 2001. Oh. I'll just let you, if you want to, you can go back there and pause that. And I'll just do the rest of that too. I'll just let you pause the video if you want to read things more. Try to remember Pups. What you would call them. time stamps. By the time whenever I get this video up, probably gonna be a while after because I have to do work first before I do it. I'll take a couple hours. Probably do some other stuff too. Families, fathers, mothers. In fact, I might have to cut short and not show everything. I need to get going. A little park here. They got all sorts of great stuff. They got Desert Storm. Even on our um, Armenian, gen Armenian genocide here. That actually makes me happy. That's something that. Um, recently, very recently, we were denying at a national level, but they have that monument there, so. Nothing personal against the sharks, I think there's plenty of great people there, but I don't understand why 
people such as Germans constantly get still demonized for the heritage of the Holocaust, which was terrible, but I feel like Turks kind of like a free, free pass. I feel like there's a balance in the middle. People aren't responsible for the actions of their ancestors. And I don't think you should feel national shame for mistakes of your ancestors, but I do feel like it's important to know history and not necessarily deny it. As some more people ask about this Trump thing, I told them, like, ancestors. I would go to that tube, I gotta work in about an hour. But yeah, Jewish war veterans, US, all sorts of stuff. Really nice people. I will say there is also some, um, there were a few Biden people, not many. There was like, maybe like eight people or something, 10 people. There were some nice people. I just said, I walked by, see what was up, and they were just about going. I just said, hey, how's it going? It's like, going good. Yeah, it's like, I'm going great. So they were nice. I was nice to them. That's all our conversation. We never really talk much, but. World War One. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go, go buy a few of these. Last thing I'll show you, we'll go a little bit closer to the state capitol after showing the Navajo dude and call it a Civilian Conservation Corps. I don't really know what that is. Not as cool as other stuff, but. Because. Arizona's Pioneer Women, okay, that's what that's about. There are some strong women. And this makes me happy they didn't take this down there. Oh, that made me angry when I tried, but uh, got Ten Commandments. I don't like the little creepy Illuminati dude, but other than that, it's pretty based. So. I mean, it, it better be based, because that's, that's part of God's word. <laughs> I, I can't really argue with that, right? So yeah, here's a Navajo Code Talkers thing. It looks like there's some other stuff too. If I had more time, I'd probably go there. But, uh, some statue from a couple of Mexican states out the border in honor of a, I think a Spanish pioneer dude, or maybe he was Mexican. I can't remember the sign, both in Spanish and in English. Nice statue of the dude. And there's, there's the capital have a few video clips and I also just got pictures and yeah there are people. There are people. Definitely wasn't like the hugest trouble. says in memory of Arizona crime victims may we always hear and honor their voices I hope y'all are still into that absolutely beautiful building places like this must be cherished so that the children of the nations may have strong nationalistic love. Postmodern, signing out.